SpaceX Starlink's first ever network update. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we're coming to the end of some misty morning and focus combination. So good, so good, that bergamot. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking space, SpaceX, Starlink, Linux, all kinds of great tech. Today is going to be a SpaceX Starlink day. And the reason being is they finally came out with a network update. They've never done this before. They've talked a little bit about it here, there, what we're doing, how we're doing, this kind of thing. They finally put it together and they have it over on their website. I'm gonna put a link that you can read it if you want to down below. I'm gonna read it for you because a lot of people that are watching me are actually listening to me also as a podcast. So I'm going to read it to you word for word so you know exactly what's going on and then I'll give you my commentary on it. And then finally, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about this? We're gonna be talking about speeds, latency, that's upload speed, download speed, capacity, all this type of great stuff. That's what they've gotten into today. And that's what I wanna share with you. It's a little bit lengthy, so just kind of relax, all right? Hang out and listen. And then once again, at the end, I wanna hear from you. If you don't wanna put something down there, put like an emoji, that'd be fine. At least I know that you actually watched. That would be great. So what I'll probably do is while I'm reading through this, maybe I'll put today's launch. One of the Falcon 9s that launched and put a bunch of SpaceX Starlink satellites on orbit. Maybe we'll run that in the background or something so you have something to see besides this talking head. Anyways, let's jump right into it before the video gets too long. We don't want that to happen, do we? Over the past year, SpaceX Starlink has expanded to 42 new countries, territories, and other markets around the world while growing by 2.7 million active customers globally and servicing more than 6 million and counting with high-speed, low-latency internet. During that time, SpaceX's team has also launched more than 100 SpaceX Starlink missions, adding 2,300 satellites to the constellation and invested heavily in ground infrastructure, network backbone, and internal technologies and systems. As a result, Starlink can provide download speeds of hundreds of megabits to individual customers. In the United States alone, the mean download speed across more than 2 million active Starlink customers during the time of peak demand is nearly 200 megabits as of July 2025. Even Starlink's low speed tier offering currently serves customers with 100 megabits download and 20 megabits upload speeds in most states and territories. And as we continue to connect more people with high-speed internet around the world in the months and years ahead, the Starlink team is focused on ensuring the overall quality of service for new and existing customers continually improves. Current network performance. Starlink's speed and latency have radically improved over the past year, with an unprecedented level of growth and more than 6 million active customers and counting globally. The network serves exponentially more users. For example, in the United States, the average household is approximately 2.5 people. SpaceX Starlink also connects schools, health centers, and businesses, including most major cruise lines and several commercial airlines who provide SpaceX Starlink's high-speed internet to tens of millions of passengers every year. With an ever-growing number of people using the network in the United States and around the world, the Starlink team has laid the foundation for a massive step increase in capacity over the next few years. Starlink speed and latency. As previously detailed, Starlink engineering team has been focused on improving the performance of our network, driving latency as low as possible with the goal of delivering a service with stable 20 milliseconds median latency and minimal packet loss. Latency refers to the amount of time, usually measured in milliseconds, that it takes a packet to be sent from the Starlink router to the internet and from the response to be received. This also is known as round trip time or RTT. Latency is one of the most important factors in perceived experience when using the internet. 
Web pages load faster, audio and video calls feel closer to real life, and online gaming is responsive. Starlink has also deployed the largest satellite ground network ever. More than 100 gateway sites in the United States alone, comprising a total of over 1,500 antennas, are strategically placed to deliver the lowest possible latency, especially for those that live in rural or remote areas. Starlink produces these gateway antennas in our factory in Redmond, Washington, where we rapidly scaled production to match satellite production and launch rates. To measure Starlink's latency, we collect anonymized measurements from millions of Starlink routers every 15 seconds. In the United States, Starlink routers perform hundreds of thousands of speed test measurements and hundreds of billions of latency measurements every day. This high-frequency automated measurement assures consistent data quality with minimal sampling bias, interference from Wi-Fi conditions, or bottlenecks from third party hardware. As of June 2025, Starlink is delivering mean peak hour latency of 25.7 milliseconds across all customers in the United States. In the U.S., fewer than 1% of measurements exceed 55 milliseconds, significantly better than even some terrestrial operators. Network Resilience with more than 7,800 satellites in orbit, Starlink's customers always have multiple satellites in view, as well as multiple gateway sites and internet points of presence, or POPs. As a result, Starlink customers benefit from continuous service even when terrestrial broadband is suffering from fiber cuts, subsea cable damage, and power outages that can deny service to millions of individuals for days. Additionally, each Starlink satellite is equipped with cutting-edge optical links that ensure that they can relay hundreds of gigabits of traffic directly with each other, no matter what happens on the ground. This laser network enables Starlink satellites to consistently and reliably deliver data around the world and route traffic around ground conditions that affect terrestrial service at speeds that are physically impossible on Earth. Starlink regularly provides critical connectivity during natural disasters such as delivering service to thousands of families and first responders during wildfires across Maui, Los Angeles, and Canada. When flooding struck the U.S. southeast after Hurricane Helene, dislocating thousands, Starlink stepped up, delivering critical connectivity for free across the region, including areas where other technologies were incapacitated. During a power outage of Affecting the entirety of Spain and Portugal, SpaceX Starlink's service remained fully functional for the duration of the outage, despite eventual loss of power that took out nearly all forms of broadband. Most recently, Starlink provided critical connectivity to support search and rescue teams in the aftermath of the catastrophic flooding in Texas Hill County. Network Scalability a fundamental design feature of SpaceX Starlink's network has been the ability to continually add capacity and new capabilities with the launch of additional satellites into the constellation and introduce an updated satellite design. Starlink is currently deploying over 5 terabits or 5,000 gigabits of capacity per week to the constellation with the current second generation satellites. The current generation of satellites has four times the capacity of the original Starlink satellite versions, which allows us to deploy more capacity per week than the total capacity of any current GEO or full LEO constellation operating today. Starlink has rapidly improved its service through adding to the constellation with updated satellites. In the past year alone, SpaceX deployed more than 2,300 Starlink satellites, amounting to nearly 450 terabits of cumulative capacity added in total. As Starlink is uniquely capable of quickly connecting those who live in rural and remote regions, we have begun to launch additional Starlink satellites into polar orbits to even further improve service in Alaska and other polar regions. We plan to launch more than 400 additional satellites to the polar inclination by the end of 2025 alone, which will more than double the capacity for Alaskan customers 
customers alone, as well as other high-latitude locations. The first of these additional satellites have begun to service Alaskan users already, nearly doubling the mean peak hour download speed over the past month. Future Network Capacity Starlink continues to scale the network with its third-generation satellites and gateway ground stations. These advancements will add an order of magnitude improvement in capacity compared to the current satellite. SpaceX is targeting to begin launching its third-generation satellites in the first half of 2026. Each one of these new satellites is designed to provide a terabit per second of download capacity. That's over 1,000 gigabits and over 200 gigabits of uplink capacity to customers on the ground. This is more than 10 times the download link and 24 times the upload capacity of second generation satellites. Each Starlink launch of third generation satellites on Starship is projected to add 60 terabits of capacity to the network, more than 20 times the capacity added with each launch today. Additionally, Additionally, third-generation satellites will use SpaceX's next-generation computers, modems, beamforming, switching, and will operate in low altitude to further improve network latency. Starlink's system is designed to scale rapidly and improve continuously. From satellite design and production to launch and ground infrastructure, Starlink is uniquely positioned to keep pace with rising demands around the world, support the rollout of 5G and advanced services, and remain resilient in the face of natural disasters and infrastructure failures. So guys, this is awesome. They finally kind of put a bow on it. I've been talking about this for a long time. I've been telling you guys how the capacity is just getting better and better and better. The speed's better and better and better. Matter of fact, on the JC Live show that I did, Free Speech Friday as we call it, on Friday, I did a speed test for all of you guys watching. And I was downloading on my phone. I got, it was 355 megabits down, and I think it was like 15.7 megabits up. Normally that's about 25 or so, but I just did one test. But think about it. I'm broadcasting 4K and I'm downloading at 355 megabits. It is crazy. This system is getting better and better. And the latency at the time was in the 20s, just like they're talking about, 20, 25, somewhere around there. I'm getting latency as low as 14.5 milliseconds. That's what I've seen. That is just Amazing, if you think about it, sub 20 milliseconds. That's what Elon Musk said that he wanted way back. This was like a year or two. Remember, Elon Musk is a gamer. He plays video games on a regular basis. And when you play video games, you understand how important latency is. It's the same thing as if you're having a conference call. If your latency is through the roof, you look like a Minecraft character because there's not enough data there and your lips aren't matching because it's just the timing is completely off. It feels sluggish. It doesn't feel right. When you have low latency, it feels real time, right? So it's very important to have low latency. And they also talked about not losing packets. Packet loss is a problem. When you look at latency, you have to also look at jitter. Jitter is the difference between your lowest and your highest latency. You want that jitter to remain as small as possible. That means that it is a more consistent connection. So if you see jitter on some of the, let's say old services, like geo services, like Viasat and HughesNet, the jitter is like through the roof, like a thousand, something nuts, because the latency is all over the place. Whereas with SpaceX Starlink, they're really getting it tight. Even though each satellite has to hand you over to the next satellite as it's going by, that handover is not a problem anymore. It happens just spontaneously. It is so, so quick. So not only are we seeing the low latency, but we're also seeing that very, very, very low jitter or no packet loss. Very important because to speed things up, 
You don't want packet loss. Every time you lose a packet, the service has to then request the packet again and you have to re-receive it. And once you receive it, you have to act it or acknowledge it as being good. So you don't want that to happen too often. The other thing is they talked about the network and how it's just going to just expand. It's gonna blow up once we see the Generation 3 satellites come on orbit. Once again, we have to make sure that the Starship isn't blowing up anymore so that they can deliver those satellites on orbit. But as they said, it is going to increase the capacity and the speeds by an order of magnitude. You're looking at like tenfold. It is crazy. The speeds are going to increase 10x on the download speed and 24x on the upload speed. That is... That is unbelievable, guys. That is unbelievable. I'm telling you, the terrestrial services out there, they should be shaking in their boots because things are getting better and better and better and they are not slowing up. They're not just leaving it at status quo. SpaceX Starlink's engineers are squeezing the hell out of it and getting every single bit out of it. Remember, they didn't even talk about it in this piece at all, but look at the DTC or the direct to sell. I mean, direct to sell now is the thing. So you could just take your phone and pick it up. You could be on the top of a mountain someplace and now have service. You can text someone. Now you could actually send an audio message and receive and send a picture. Within the next six to eight months, we're going to be able to make a call. That's with no service at all. Absolutely no cell towers. You're gonna to be using a satellite with your unmodified cell phone, with your Android or with your iPhone. Absolutely the top tier. Who else is out there? No one at this point. You got Apple trying to do their best with Global Star, which is complete junk. And it's just never going to be worth anything. And now Apple finally said, hey, you know what? We want on board with SpaceX. And now they are. So we can see how this network is just growing and growing and growing. Six million people. When I got on board, there was 112,000 of us. That was it, just coming out of beta. It is crazy. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this interesting. I know I did. Finally, once again, we have a bow put on everything. We know what's going on now, and we know what the future is going to bring. And it's exactly what we've been talking about on this channel for months and months and months, but now we can see it in black and white, so to speak. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, throw the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you. Click this notification button here so I go live when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink content, I'll put a link here to a playlist of about eh, 525 videos I think I've put together over the last 50 months for you. Check them out. There's a lot of good stuff there. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and of course the why behind all of it. And if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thanks button down there. You can click on that. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. The video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com forward slash shop. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash shop. Check out my merch. If there's something there that you like, please pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, hopefully through SpaceX Starlink. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.